What up? Hey, My cool. name is Kokoi, the one and only, along with the Wookie. Um, I'm basically here on uh, behalf of a couple of friends, and uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about a guy named Mr. Beer 30. Most of us know him on different chat sites. Well, um, basically tonight, we're going to go ahead and talk about how he insults people when we're the ones that are mostly cool with him. Basically, shit is getting old, and uh, motherfucker needs to change his ways. I'm sorry, but it's true, and most of you will agree with me. If uh, you don't know who I'm really talking about, uh, Mr. Bird 30 also goes by... Francisco Morano Jaime. Uh, yes, you heard that correctly. Don't just fucking pull your fucking mouth back to your fucking close position and listen up. Basically, tonight he just uh, went ahead and uh, went overboard. And guess what? The Kukui is fucking fed up with it because I am one of the guys that's supposed to be cool with him I backed his ass up more than one time and uh, I think it's time to go ahead and throw punches back at his ass like he's been throwing punches at other people uh like I said, insulting them, you know, mentioning shit that should not even be mentioned, and, uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's been old, it's done daughter, you know, don't bring up old shit, you know, whatever's fucking happened in the past, leave it in the past, but if this motherfucker want to go ahead and bring up old shit, well, damn it, let's go ahead and bring up Oh shit. Can I get an amen? Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Well, let me go ahead and testify. Testify. First of all, we all know this motherfucker drinks a lot. And, uh, most of us, that is real close friend of his telling him that he needs to change his ways. We all talk to him in a one-on-one -on -one personal uh, way and uh, trying to tell him, you know, give him advice, stop doing all that you're doing. But no, he continues to go ahead and drinks. Due to his fucking drinking, let him to have a bad consequence that he, to this very day, uh, he has not fulfilled not even one requirement to even get some loved ones back. Yes, I hit went ahead and throw a fucking left hook to the kidney just now because why like I said he's want to insult and throw punches at other fucking people like tonight he's throwing punches at at a friend of mine I'm not going to go ahead and mention her name but calls her fat when she's not, not even near there she's not fat She's a petite person. 
Yeah, she might. Seven. She might got a ghetto booty, but she ain't fat. Um, he also go ahead and bring up names that she do not even associate with no more. And constant, constant, constant throwing punches in that way, and it gets annoying after a while. What are those names? Well, people, that's really none of your business. Anyway, what do you have to add, uh, Mr. Woogie? What I got to add is, it's like it's kind of bullshit, though, on how he's doing this because he's picking a fight with everybody tonight, and we're not saying that we wasn't talking shit about him. We wasn't talking down on him, nothing. He even talked down on your mama. Yeah, he talked down on Mother Wookie. He talked down on Mother Wookie, and that's sad that he talked down on my mother, and she didn't do nothing wrong. She has nothing to do with it yeah. in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. See, I, res I respect people's family because I don't bring people's family into a fight. And he sat there and talked about my mother. He talked to, kept bringing her up. And I, I'm like, motherfucker, what did I ever do to you? And then he sat there and talked about he don't care if somebody trying to get him. He wants people to turn on him and do him wrong. And I'm, I couldn't figure out why would this guy sit there and say that. He wants people to turn on him and do him wrong. And we're trying to be his friends. Now, we backed him up. We sat there and watched out for him. We sat there and kind of uh, sat there for him. We was there for this dude. And he continues on to talk bad about us. Like, we sat there and trying to be, be, trying to be there for him. When other people all over the internet trying to talk all this shit about him, we was there for him. When the motherfucker started talking, uh, them pictures, them floating pictures of him about the, uh, the, the whole smoking cigarette, giving the son a cigarette and drinking, we know that was a, it was fake. It was fake. He didn't give his son a drink or a light a cigarette. And it looked like he did, but he didn't. But, uh, and we was there for him, backing him up and trying to help him out, trying not to talk down on him. But he still sits there and talks down on us. And it's sad to, uh, it's sad to say that uh, after all these years, you t we had your back and you want to turn on us? It's a damn shame. It's very fucking sad that, you know, you're there for a friend when even though you're down on the dumps and shit, you're down rock bottom and shit and helping you up from step by step and shit and you fucking go ahead and continue with your fucking drama and all that bullshit and has not changed your ways, not even one bit for the positive side always has to be the fucking negative. It's like, you know, all jokes aside and shit, you know, now that, you know, some of us is already fed up with it and shit, you know, it's not funny no more. Yeah. You know, especially for me. And, and I know for somebody, some of the other people, it's, you know, it's not fun to watch a friend spiraling, spiraling down and shit without a fucking parachute if you're skydiving. You know, yeah. it's, it's hard to see that shit. Because why? It's like time to time again, they tell you to fucking get help, you don't want help. And it's, it's sad to see that shit. And some of us are tired of, you know, fucking 
him being all the fucking in the negative when we're trying to fucking make him be in the fucking positive. Yeah. And once again, he just hit me up and uh, mentioning certain people's names when I don't even associate with those fucking people's names. And let me go ahead and respond and see what happens. Yeah. See, he's been like this ever since that incident happened. Just all negative. Like, we trying to, like, like, every, like, I try to stop talking shit to people because I, I hated it. I never wanted to be up in that shit again. I didn't want to get caught up in that shit again because I, like, because all he did get yeah, is got me into trouble. I lost a lot of friends of it. I lost a lot of good friends and then I see that he's continuing on trying to start stuff, talk, talking shit to everybody. That um, he's trying to get us to fight with him, and I don't want to fight with this dude. Exactly, none of us want to fucking fight. We all want to fucking chill and have a fucking good time, like fucking the old days, like we used to have. But now that situation is change his fucking life he's trying to bring out negative out of us and guess what it's brought the negative out of me tonight I'm already done you know I'm tired and fed up with it yeah and this is the first time I ever ever had somebody do a video with me but it had to be done because we're sick of this bullshit. We're so sick of this bullshit. Like we, we really are because, like I, like I said, I'm trying to stay away from the drama because I'm tired of it. Like I really don't want to get into it. I'm really trying to stay away from it. And he's actually trying to bring me back in by don't pulling this shit, by pulling this shit and. He don't. He don't need to be doing that because we trying to watch out and be cool with this guy. And he's still, uh, shaking his neighbor. I'm talking about you put your finger in your bed here and all this and that and get it in. I said, motherfucker, you need to stop talking about people's mamas, daddies, family members. We're not talking bad about your family. We're not talking bad about your kids, your wife, your mom, your dad. But you're talking about everybody else's. That is so disrespectful. And on top of that, threaten the Kukui, uh trying to say, you know, fuck me over by my IP and fucking threaten me by all these all this other internet fucking ways and shit. It's like, if, if, if you were or you are a, a true friend, even though we're internet friends and stuff like that, why would you even do that to another friend? Yeah. It's like, it, it fucking, it's mind boggling because a person like me would not never do that to another person. Yeah. Can I put my two cents in? Yeah, go ahead, go right in. I'm here. outside. All right, one, beer, you need to quit bringing up a certain guy that I do not talk to anymore and that I'm not with anymore because I'm not talking to him. And another thing, you trying to get me to show my boobs and crotch by insulting me is not going to fucking work. And if you go back and tell this certain person a bunch of bullshit that I showed you shit whenever I didn't, I have Kukoi and the Wookiee to back me up and say that you're full of fucking shit. So, dude, you need to get a reality check and get fucking help. Because I'm done. I have backed you up in many occasions. I was there for you when our 
best friend died last year, and now you want to be a fucking asshole. I'm not going to deal with your shit no more. So until you grow up and can respect me and my friends that you insulted tonight, don't fucking talk to me, because I'm done. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> okay, see? Uh, see, see, that's what I'm talking about. I try to stay away from that kind of bullshit and where people start fights and all like that. And you see how uh, sadistic uh, is mad about this issue. Yeah, I'm fucking pissed because I'm fucking sick and tired of yeah, it. So we him thinking that him thinking that me and you had something going on. No, yeah. me and Afro Joe have been best friends for like almost five years now. Five years. And for you to bring up uh, a certain female and a certain guy uh, every time I'm in a room really gets old. And if you keep fucking mentioning them, people, I am going to go and tell him that you're running your fucking mouth about him. Yeah. Because that's all it is. He's starting drama mm -hmm. with everybody. Like, I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep the peace between... <laughs> Me and the people, and I talk, talk, do a video on them or nothing, cause I haven't, I haven't did a video on anybody that's cool with me, and cause I got out of that shit. All I do now is do videos about uh, current events, like Ryan, Dun God rest his soul, Ryan Dunn's death, that Casey Anthony case. She like that, bitch. <laughs> she like that. But I don't sit there and do these videos like I used to about people. But this is the first time I did it in a long time because he did really need it to be done. People need to know what's going on. And that's how it is. Coco, you got something to say, son? I'm done preaching for tonight. I'm done preaching. I'm done too. Because one thing is. It's all about, well, basically, let me put this two couple cents in. You know, with me, it's all about, you know, fun and love and shit and respect everybody. And, you know, when she gets old, you do get mad. And when a person gets mad, you know. It comes to a fucking point that shit has to be done, and guess what? This is being done just to fucking, hopefully, if this video gets to his ass and wake his ass up. Yeah. I hope it, didn't, I hope it wakes him up because it really needed to be done anyway. He needs to stop being... Oh, he'll, he'll probably be all, like, pissed off and shit, yeah. but hey, truth's the truth, buddy. Yeah, the truth's been told. Hey, the thing is, it's like, you know... Your friends and shit, whatever. And if he gets mad because I did this, oh fucking well. The thing is, is like by him doing this type of bullshit. Guess what? He's losing friends little by little. When yeah. he should keep the fucking friends that, that are cool with him and shit, and change his motherfucking ways and shit. Yeah. Amen. And stop being such a dick and a booty ass about it. Exactly. Amen. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah. 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 And this has been the Kukui, and I'm done. This has been Afro Joe, the Wookie, and you just been told. This is Sadistic signing out. Peace. Peace, love, and Afro Grease. Holla.